Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, my name is Lauren Watson. I am an independent Scentsy consultant and uh, I'm gonna start doing something new as of today. Uh, I've seen some um, other people doing videos of what am I warming. Um, so I thought it'd be fun for me to do so you um, can just kind of have an idea as to what what is going on in my house, the scents, the smells, the products that I'm going through uh, for Scentsy, my Scentsy products only. So, um, I have been collecting in a basket for probably too long. Uh, this might be going on more closer to a month versus like a week or two weeks, which is what I've normally been people seeing people doing. But, um, anyway, here we are with my giant bucket full of stuff. Looks a lot bigger on that screen than it does actually in person. Maybe not. I don't know. Regardless, it's full of good scentsy stuff and I'm going to go through it with you. So first things first, um, right on top is wrong way. Lavender cotton washer whiffs. Literally just finished this this morning. Still has the, the, um, scooper in it. Um, if you have not had or used washer whiffs, you are late to the game and you need to jump on it immediately. Um, I love lavender cotton. It smells very much um, like lavender and cotton. Um, ooh, yum. Exactly what I want my laundry to smell like. This smells so good. Um, I, Again, as you'll watch my videos, you'll learn to know that I am terrible at describing scents and uh, what I feel like uh, they remind me of. But um, this just, I, I don't really care too much for like the jammy time scent on, on my um, clothes and all that. Um, and I don't know if there's more like a memory behind it for me that I don't, that I don't go for. Um, but this one, is delicious lavender cotton one of my faves um, I need to replace it now so that's number one I have a lot of wax in here and there's probably going to be some um, duplicates uh, which is to be expected so um, I'm just gonna pull a few out so first thing is autumn road trip this one is my favorite especially for the season, but really I could probably warm this, um, every day across the year. Um, I love it. I think somebody, somebody just asked if I had extras and, um, I went ahead and sold them to them because it was the right thing to do, but I did save one bar back for myself so that, um, I can warm it on Thanksgiving. So anyway, Autumn Road Trip, um, it's in the fruity section, I think. Floral, ooh, I feel like it's fruity. But um, I don't know, it smells like a dream. I love it. Um, okay, Glacier Water. Um, now, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided that I was going to use what I had instead of buying a lot of new stuff. So um, I have a lot of inventory. Sorry, my timer's going off because I'm also cooking dinner. Um, so I'll check that in just a second. Um, so I put myself on a spending freeze and I said, I just have to use what I have. So Glacier Water was a scent of the month. Um, I forget when. This smells like, like a sexy man smell. Um, it's one of those like, you know, um, gosh, what do they call Like mystery man, but this is more like a fresh, fresher than that. But anyway, this is a nice, clean, fresh, but also manly scent. Um, I would have probably put this in like one of our half baths or even my entryway, um, just to get it kind of in a coming and going type situation versus sitting, um, in the living room with it. So, okay, so the next one I have is Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. This was, um, I believe, the scent of the month for November, October, November. I'm also really bad about remembering when things were out. This one smells good. The, I, I like this one. Um, it's a little bit more uh, buttery, a little more buttery than I 
I think I like, but it also, I like, it counteracted the, the spice to it, or the spice counteracted the, the butteriness of it. So um, this one I liked a lot. It was nice and warm, not too pumpkin-y, because to me, like flat out pumpkin doesn't smell that great. But anyway, warm pumpkin drizzle was a yummy one. Um, okay, so I had an up. So we also have licensed bars, and it's, this is broken, so don't mind that. Um, we have licensed bars and products, uh, and this is one of them. So this was the up collection. Mmm, this one smells good. It's, uh, is it fruity? No, it's kind of citrusy. Like a lemony. I, I don't have any scent descriptions for these. If I did, I'd have to open my computer and this video would be super long. But I'm not going to do that. So this one I uh, warmed in my study. So it was more of like a, you know, pet me up, wake me up, make me like a feel fresh um, and cheery when I come in here uh, because I'm in here all day long working my full-time job and um, my sensi job. So anyway, this one is a really good one. A lot of these, um, I don't remember if I said this already, but they're probably not available anymore because of um, they were limited, they are older, or I have them in my club. And I'll get to that um, after a while. So I'll tell you more about that in a minute. So digging in the basket again is Dancing Sugar Plums is more wax. I'm gonna have a lot of wax in here. Um, and I'll change my wax pretty often. This smells good. Um, I change, I have a lot of warmers all over my whole house. So there's a lot of wax to be changed. Um, this one was like a spicy, it's not really Christmassy. I know it says Dancing Sugar Plums, which of course to me makes me think of the Nutcracker. Um, this scent in and of itself does not make me think of the Nutcracker, but it does give me like a, a soft holiday um, feel. So it's kind of like an introduction to the holidays without you having a Christmas tree in your face yet. So. That one was a good one. Um, for the holiday of probably Halloween-ish time, I did Jack's Obsession. And while this is more of like a Halloween guy, it is an all the time scent if you had it. You know, it was available around that time. Um, this actually reminds me of something else I just smelled. It's pepperminty. There's some sort of a mint, and I don't think it's a spearmint, and I don't, and I feel like it's not peppermint, but I, but then I also feel like it might be. Um, I feel like I've said that before, and when I read it, it doesn't say what I think it is, but this one is uh, super popular, and it's, um, well, it's really popular, and this one is actually a, a good scent for all the time, so even if, um, even, you know, again, it's, Halloween guy that would remind me of Halloween. Um, you can you can do it all the time. Okay, business casual. This is a bar that came out, I believe, in the Father's Day collection uh, just this past summer, and whoo, yeah, this one's a good one. This is like um, oh god, what are those colognes? This, this is going to remind you of your, of your well, depending on how old you are, your junior high or high school boyfriend. It's like, uh, I can't, I can't even think of the, like, CK1 or, uh, Tom, maybe, no, I can't think of any, anyway, these are good. So, the manly scents are always nice, um, because just because they are, because it's different. It's not like fruity. It's it's more of that musk, um, and it's different. Um, I will warm those. So like this would have been warmed in um, my husband's office, um, and maybe like just outside of it um, to kind of keep that over there. Okay. Again, duplicates. Here's another warm pumpkin drizzle. So you know I could have done those like two across the living room um, to get it going, but 
you're gonna you're gonna see some duplicates in here. Okay, Amazon Rain. This one is an oldie but a goodie. This is um, one of my favorites. This one's super fresh. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. I wouldn't say it smells like the Amazon, and I wouldn't say it smells like rain, but but maybe it does because I've never smelled the rain in the Amazon. I don't know. This one's yummy. I will always buy that. Uh, and that is one I would warm um, anywhere in the house. The girls like it. Um, I love it in the living room. Um, entryway, that's a, that's a nice entryway one. Okay, cucumber and cactus water. This one is, again, I like a lot of fresh stuff. So this one's fresh. Um, I feel like, I don't remember if this is part of a collection or not. But um, again, this is something that over, <clears throat> excuse me, I probably would have worn this in my entryway. My house is kind of split up into, I feel like quadrants. It doesn't seem like the, what I'm melting is gonna waft into a different area. It kind of stays, stays where it is. I'm just gonna have a whole video of me with my nose inside of these. Um, what do they call, what do we call these? They are called clamshells. That's what it is, clamshells. Okay, so this one was a super old one. Um, this was from two years ago when uh, actually I first started Scentsy and they were selling the uh, Bring Back My Bar bundles. Um, so you could like every, no, it's twice a year, every, they do a Bring Back My Bar thing for the season so fall and spring and um I ended up buying the fall one because I didn't know what to do so I just did it and this is one that um this was one of them so it's an old old label old label alert uh this one is called plum and white woods so this is a woody scent it's pretty like a deep a deep smell um I don't smell plum in it it, to me, this one is more woodsy. And I'm trying to think of where I would have put this one. Maybe in my kitchen. Um, or maybe in my study. I don't remember, honestly. Because that one, that one's an old one. Okay. Okay. So, Oodles of Orange. This is one. It's also an old. It came back in a... Mm, let me think. This was part of a Bring Back My Bar collection as well. As you can see, the label has now changed to be um, what the more traditional label is that you're used to. Um, I was always looking for like that yummy Kirkland smell. Um, and so I would try different things. Like I, I would always feel like, okay, those sachets, you know, like every sachet mixed together smells like, to me, it would have been something spicy and, um, something orangey. So, um, and I actually really did like this, this, um, uh, we call it, co uh, not connection, but anyway, combination of, uh, this one I can't smell too much in the, in the tray anymore. Oodles of orange. Um, so I did orange and I did not do it with this, this bar. Um, I did it with a different one that might be in the bucket. Um, or it might not, but anyway, this is another spicy one that, uh, could probably smell really good with the orange and it's blackberry spice. Um, this is new right now for this fall and winter season and you always find little pieces of wax in here still. So maybe I'll warm that later. Just kidding. But I don't want it to fall out on my desk. Okay. Mmm, I love these. Like fruity and spice. It smells really good. This one was one of my favorites from this um the 10 new ones that came out for fall and winter. Um that that one was one of my favorites. Okay. Oh, here's something different. Okay. Mahalo coconut uh sugar scrub. This I had had um in my shower, I think. And then maybe I pulled it out of there, put it next to my sink, and I just wasn't using it um, a whole lot. 
Um, and so then what I did was I, um, it's cleaned out now, but I ended up emptying this into a, um, a tiny little glass jar, like what was left of it. I, um, emptied out into, um, a tiny glass jar that used to hold a different sugar scrub that we had bought like at a farmer's market. And, um, it has a cute little scooper deal. And so I have that right next to my kitchen sink. So I'm always in my kitchen. I'm never normally in, in my, um, in my own restroom in my room. So, um, this way I can use it more often and, uh, Mahalo coconut is a yummy scent. So not for the season necessarily, but it will make you think of sunnier days. Not like it's not sunny in Houston, but it's, that is what it is. Okay. So what do we got here? Banana nut bread. Um, again, this was part of the, uh, a bring back my bar. Um, this is like an OG scent for a Scentsy. This is like where it all began. Um, the story goes is that when, um, our owners were, let's see, when he came home, uh, from work or whatever, his wife was, um, burnt, um, melting this in the warmer that they had just, all of it that they had just bought um, from the original creators of Scentsy. And, uh, he thought that she was baking banana nut bread. And so he went to the kitchen and looked for it. And so he's like, where's the bread? And she's like, I'm not baking bread. I'm melting this thing you bought. And so that's when he decided, or they decided that, um, this is amazing. The products are amazing. It's long lasting. And, um, we got to buy this company. And then they did. So yummy. So if you, um, well, it's probably not available right now, but this one's a good one. If it comes back, gotta jump on it. Okay. Sugar cookie is another one, a very traditional, um, scent. You can see it looks like there's wax in it, but there's not. It's like, it's, um, I had it a while. I think it's kind of discolored color the clamshell. So, um, banana nut bread and sugar cookie, anything bakery-ish is only in my kitchen. I don't do those scents out of my kitchen. Um, I mean, it's connected to my living room, but again, I feel like it doesn't waft in there too much or out of there too much. Uh, I just like to keep it in there and it works. So, um, all right, Lion King in the jungle. This is another licensed bar. Uh, we have a lot of licenses um, with Disney, uh, Disney Pixar, um, Star Wars, Marvel. I know that's all like, you know, kind of the same family-ish, but um, also like NFL, NHL, European soccer that just um, came out today. Rugby, that's another one. So anyway, there's so many, um, so, so many, um, licensing that we do with, um, a bunch of companies and I just smell this and it smells so good when I opened it. Mm, this one's good. This one's fresh. I can't, I, I don't know what I'm picking up. It's, it's kind of, um, I don't want to say tropical, kind of like a, like planty ish, but floral floral fresh maybe that's what i'm going for that one's a yummy one um okay another autumn road trip again my fave I gotta smell it again because i have it <sighs> yum love it okay um ocean this was another bring back my bar that i would have added into my club um my club is um it's an ordering system that's it sounds like it's a subscription and it is but there's like no gimmicks gimmicks behind it there's no additional fees there's nothing like when you sign up for a club order you're literally just paying for the products that you add into your club order so there's not like a monthly fee if you get it one time and then want to cancel it then you can do that and there's no penalty for that so when a bar is being offered by sensi they um the club side of it has what is called as a program called always get my bar. So if 
this was available, which it was, um, I said I want to continue to get this. For instance, autumn road trip. When it's not fall and winter, it's not offered. That autumn, autumn road trip is not offered in the spring and summer. So, in the spring, before, before uh, the catalog switch is over, um, I will add autumn road trip into my club order because there is no guarantee. Sorry, looking at neighbors. Um, there's no guarantee that autumn road trip is going to be back the following fall and winter. And I'm not willing to take that chance because I love it. So, um, when spring is about to be over, then I will add autumn road trip back into my um, club order to continue getting it. Sensi will always make your bar, always make my bar, as long as you have it in your club. If you decide you no longer want it in your club, that's fine. You can remove it, but you cannot put it back in because it's no longer being offered. That makes sense. And there's really cool perks with it too. Like once you add um, $30 worth of products into your club order, you get 10% off. So that's awesome. And then um, when your order hits $60, then you're content, you still get 10% off, but you also now get a half price item. So I love that perk of it and um, I use it. I do mine every other month. That's what I do. Did I just show you all this autumn road trip? Is this another autumn road trip that I just missed? Third autumn road trip. Okay, I wasn't kidding. It's my fave. All right, we're getting down to the bottom. Promise, promise. Let me try to not, oh, and I'm jiggling, and my uh, phone holder is connected to my desk, which is what all of this is on, and my desk is um, an Ikea wibbly wobbly desk. So, it is what it is. Shimmer. Um, a lot of these came out before my time in Scentsy. So, for me to even know, like, what these smell like I just took a chance on it and um ordered one and, or I might have even actually just put them in my club to say um if I like it I like it and if I don't I'll I'll remove it but at least right now I can get 10% off <sighs> this one's yummy it's like a soft fresh is it floral it's like a mixture of all the things I don't it doesn't I don't know it this this would be good for a bedroom um I had some laundry detergent in this that one that one was good um this one's a good one so if shimmer ever comes back you gots to get it all right moving along perfect pumpkin pear is this a new one this year mm, this one's spicy again I'm not big on like the pumpkin in your face but this one's a spice this one's a spicy one and so this one was good plus the pear so all of it like you know cutting it so that none of them are just like you know attacking you is a good thing okay blackberry orange marmalade again going for that kirkland's feel mm, i don't know if this one was it I like, I, I like that I can pick out the orange out of it and the berry, so that's nice. I mean, this is not a bad one, for sure. So this one, I think I, I, think I got it, because this was also, this has a little sticker on it, so bring back my bar. Uh, so again, part of the uh, two times a year release that they do of old bars, and it's all voted on, so like they'll come out with, gosh, I don't even know, just say 100. And then a little bit like, and you can vote on it every day. And then every day, like the number kind of, I think they start whittling it down a little bit just so, you know, they get rid of the ones that have like zero votes or whatever. And so then, um, then they pick like 25, I think. Yeah, that one's a good one. I would have done this in my living room. All of these are mostly probably, you know, from my, um, my living room. Okay. Well, here's another Washer Whiffs tub um, in Ocean. So this, um, again, Ocean was offered before my time. 
So I would have gotten this on uh, in a clearance sale. So, or a flash sale or whatever they're called at any time. So that was so good. Again, it's one of those like, I don't want to say this one's a sensi, I mean a sexy scent, but it kind of is. Um, but it's, it smells really good on your clothes. That's all I know. So close that back up. Um, but again, it was kind of like a one and done for me. You know, I don't, I try not to go crazy. Like if there's a flash sale, yes, I would have loved to have had five of these, but um, I don't want to spend my money that way. So I didn't, I got one and that was the end of it. But again, I was also probably like, I think I had heard it was popular, but you never like, you never know until you know, you know? Come on, trying to grab three. Can't even grab three with my hands. Ugh, this bucket's so deep. Okay, Cider Mill. This one is a super popular scent for the fall and winter. Um, obviously more fall than winter. Hmm. It's, um, it's really light. Is this a, is this one a fruity scent? I mean, a, a fruity. I don't remember now. Anyway, it, it, oh, it might be spicy. I don't know. I need to start like putting stickers on all of these to say, so I know, um, what I'm doing, but, uh, super popular, like a bestseller, super popular. Um, this one's good. This one's perfect for like your living space. I had a friend that bought, how many did she buy? Like 10, six packs of these to like last her the duration. Yeah, that's, that's how popular it is. 10 six packs popular. All right. This is an old collection that came out, I believe last spring sometime and it or no maybe it was the beginning of summer so it was like chill out like vitamin you know you need to get your vitamins like so this was like vitamin r relax there was vitamin m for meditate and i don't even know the other ones there was like a collection of five maybe this one's like a fresh i would have probably put this in my bedroom like it's a nice just calming and I guess it makes sense because it's called Relax. Um, yeah, that one's a yummy one. And some of them I didn't like. Um, some of them are probably still sitting in my stash over there because there's been like a bar, I mean, a, a cube taken out of it because I'm like, oh, where do I want this? I don't know. Okay. Number two favorite, different spaces. Number one fave for my bedroom, Cozy Cardigan. If you know, you know, and you've got to know because it's good. This one is 100% in my bedroom all the time. Um, my bedroom and uh, my bathroom that's in my room. So um, it's cozy, duh, because it's in the name and it's perfect. It's not too overpowering and it is great for sleeping. And here's another one. Two of the same. Okay. Pink lemon water. This was a scent of the month. I don't know when. Uh, I'm probably going to guess over the summer. And this was a nice. It kind of smells like, like a strawberry lemonade. It has like fresh squeezed lemons in it and like a little bit of mint, but also like this much rose smell in it. So I think when I read the word rose, I immediately get turned off by it. And then when I smelled it, it was actually really nice and it melts just as nice. So again, these are old and not available anymore. So don't come looking for it. Guess what I have another one of? Autumn Road Trip. That's number four. I gotta smell it again. What am I doing? I have to smell it again. <sighs> so good. Okay, and finally, last but not least, Mulberry Bush. This is um, one of the ones that, mm, yeah, where's my orange? So 
this was the other one I was telling you about that I would have mixed together. So an orange and um, a mulberry, like a berry, and the orange together. It smells delicious. I just smell them like that. Mm -hmm. It gives me that Kirkland's feel. So anyway, that is the end of my bucket. As you can see, it is now empty. Um, and so, yeah, so, um, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching what I've been warming and, or been cleaning with over here in these things. Um, hopefully I'll make it more of a regular series. We shall see. And, uh, we'll see how fast this, this bucket can get, um, filled up. So what did we get to? Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-nine wax um, bottles. Um, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-nine wax uh, bars, two washer with tubs, and a partridge in a pear tree, sugar scrub. So anyway, not too bad of a haul. That's all I got for you. Um, yeah, that's it. See you next time.